தெரிச்சிட்டோம்மா பாடும் வரிவேல் அணி சேவல் என பாடும் பணியே பணிய அருள்வாய் தேடும் கயமா முகனை செருவில் சாடும் தனியானி சகோதரனி திருச்சிட்டம் பூழியர்கள் ஒன்று பூழித்த புகழியர்கள் ஒன் கடல் போற்றி ஆழிமிசை கல்மிதப்பில் அணிந்த பிரான் அடி போற்றி வாழி திரு நாவல் ஒரு வன் தொண்டர் பதம் போற்றி ஊழிமலி திருவாத ஊர திருத்தாள் போற்றி திருச்சிற்றம் மூலம் தென்னாடுடைய சிவனே போற்றி என்னாட்டவர்க்கும் இருவா போற்றி ஏகம்பத்துறையந்தாய் போற்றி பாகம் மண்ணுராணாய் போற்றி ராய்த்துறை மேவிய பரணைய போற்றி சிராப்பள்ளி மேவிய சிவனைய போற்றி அண்ணாமலைய மண்ணா போற்றி கண்ணார முது கடலே போற்றி காவாய் கனக திரளே போற்றி கைலை மலையானே போற்றி போற்றி வெற்றிவேல் முருகனுக்கு அரோஹரா திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் அண்ட சராசரங்களுக்கெல்லாம் அதிபதியாக வழங்கக்கூடிய முருகப்பெருமானுடைய ஒப்பற்ற பெருங்கருணையினாலே ஞானத்திரள் வழங்குகின்ற இந்த ஆங்கில தொடர் சிவமந்திராஸ் என்பது பற்றி தொடர்ந்து இந்த வாரமும் சிந்திப்பதற்கு திருவருள் கூட்டியிருக்குது இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீக் வி ஸ்டார்டட் வித் நம சிவாய சிவாய நம தி பேசிக் மந்திராஸ் ஆஃப் சைவம் நம சிவாய த ஃபைலட்டட் மந்த்ரா கால்டு பஞ்சாட்சரா ஆர் இன் அதர் வேர்ட்ஸ் அஞ்சு எழுத்து தி வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் இன்டிஸ்பென்சபிள் மந்த்ரா இன் சைவம் இஃப் யூ ஒன் இஃப் ஒன் கிளைம்ஸ் தட் இஸ் அ சைவட் தென் he must be chanting the five letter mantra the only mantra that makes the feel and the thoughts connected to the almighty is only through this mantra by seeing the image of lord shiva by reading texts about the saiva we try to connect the lord shiva with the soul these are all the external things that is our eyesight our hearing ability or our chanting ability all these things are externally provided to make you connect to this world likewise you must be connected to the lord externally means the image of lord by seeing it the mantras by uttering them and by doing prayers we connect ourselves to the lordship uh, connecting ourselves to the lordship what does it mean as a matter of fact that we must be able to understand because in saivam we are ne- we, we are never discouraged from the lord shiva he is always with us if he is not with us we will not be able to a uh, function the total function itself uh, is due to his uh, presence in the soul so if he uh, approves the function then the soul starts functioning in this world for a certain period for certain um, experiences the life has been awarded we are supposed to use this life mainly to remove the ignorance from our wisdom it has been masked or it has been 
uh, what we can call is spoiled or it has been deteriorated or it has been diluted it has been what whatever language you can use but it is an impurity available in the wisdom it should be removed only because of that ignorance which is called anavam in uh, saivam that anavam is called malam that is impurity malam means impurity this impurity it uh, um, it uh, spoils the basic function of uh, the wisdom so to remove the uh, the mask or to remove the impurity from the wisdom to make it function the wisdom is should be allowed to function in its own style the malam should be removed or the impurity should be removed that process is going on that we have discussed during our various lectures in this series so the the soul is connected it should be connected to the lordship means you must be able to understand that by the feel wise because the soul does not understand or does not feel or does not realize that it has been inherently possessed by the anav anav uh, uh, as possessed as actually possessed the wisdom of the soul so to the possession has to be some more rather slowly removed not all of a sudden it has to be slowly removed it is being done through the way through the various births not one or two or 100 or 200 or 1000 or 2000 millions and millions of births we have taken for the removal of the zanavam from our wisdom okay now the soul does not feel the connectivity of the lordship in it for helping it to get it to get away or to get liberated from the anavam so to make it feel or to make it realize the prayers the way of uh, uh puja all those things are the the pujas the way of uh, uh, approaching the lordship through uh, various stages that we have discussed uh, in the uh, serial of lectures the ultimate aim is to make the soul to feel the lord who is existing available within itself it is not away from the soul it is called the atvidam it is not away from the soul it is in the soul it is along with the soul it is always with the soul so to make it feel this saivam has dictated some methods one of them is to perform puja for the images or the idols or the statues or to watch the abhishekam aradhana alankaram all these things are mainly or are mainly done to achieve the goal of making the soul realize the presence of lordship within itself that is the ultimate aim once it realizes the existence of lordship within itself then it will surrender itself to the lotus feet of that uh, lordship 
who has been helping through all this time so that it will be understanding that this is the only thing that it can liberate it from the miseries and sufferings. So, now I am trying to impress upon you the importance of uttering the mantra. Why a mantra is very important is because uh, we have been associating this word in two aspects. One is through light, another is through sound. The one is through light means that is called Vindu and another is sound means Nadam. Oliyum, Oliyum. That is, those are the two basic things that you have been associating with this world. All other things are ancillary, supplementary or ancillary or uh, auxiliary things, all those things are there. Of course, these are the two major things, the sound and light. So, light, it pertains to the images, L sound pertains to the mantras. So, by looking at the images, the souls are uh, feeling that they are getting closer to the God. They are able to concentrate, they are able to uh, feel, able to feel that they are closer. They are able to feel that there is somebody to protect them, to safeguard them, to save them. All these confidences are coming up only by seeing the idols or seeing the pictures or seeing the statues, all these things. For example, if they see a picture of Lord Murga, they will get the feel that Lord Murga is there to uh, liberate me from my sufferings, to safeguard me from my force. By looking at the images, this is the first stage, but the next powerful stage, the one superior to this is through mantras, through sound. So, um, by looking at the images, by doing this dhyanam, there is the contemplation of the image, always the image contemplation, that will help definitely. But our gurus will lead you, will take you to the next stage by preaching you some mantras and they will be asking you to chant the mantras and feel that the Almighty is along with you, is nearby you, he is watching you, he is saving you. So, mantras are very, very uh, powerful in making a soul to feel the uh, Lordship, to make you feel the presence of the Lord, to make you feel safe, to make you feel the kindness of the Lordship. The mantras are given. As a matter of fact, Shiva mantras are special. In what respect? That is, in Shiva mantras, these mantras themselves are given to you in stages. That we discussed in the last session, why this five letter mantra is more powerful than other mantras, how these mantras are generated from or uh, they are the evolution. We can say that the Panjacharam is the evolution of the Pranava. They are one and the same. It is the other form, the, the other form of Pranava or the expanded form of Pranava. Oh, the expanded pa, pa, uh, form of the Pranava is Namashivaya. Why we call like this? We explained last uh, session 
In the last session, we explained, as a matter of fact, we have taken a detailed study of this thing. People are uh, uh, saying uh, all religions, uh, most of the religions, what are the most of the Hindu uh, subsects, most of them claim Omkaram to be their own mantra. Omkaram does not belong to any particular sect. It is the God's power that is being used for the performance of the whole Prabancha. It is his power. That power is available in a mantra means that is the only mantra that is the Omkaram is available is Panchacharam. Only in Anjadith mantra, the power is available inherently. Why? Because I can, uh, I can boldly say this statement that all other mantras are uttered only along with Omkaram. But whereas Ramashivayam, Shivayanamandhi, Anjadith, piloted mantras need not be uttered along with Omkaram. Why? The, the, this uh, segregation has been accepted. It is because all mantras are not Omkaram. They are different from Omkaram. That is why we are uttering them along with Omkaram. Not only that, Omkaram we know power. Why do you want to add it? It means it gives the power. In a train, engine only will pull. Bogies cannot be cannot be pulling other things. Bogies can be pulled. Engine can pull. Engine is warm. All bogies are other mantras. Whereas Namashivaya is the engine itself and bogi itself. The same thing. So the, it is an engine. That is why we have been asked to utter that mantra without Omkar. There is nothing wrong if you say Namashivaya. Matapahatana kindi nin tiru padam emanam babitain petalum pirandain gini piravada tanme mandai dinin kattava thoru de tumzi kara yuri pandi kodumudi natava bunin anmara kinum soluna om namachivaya ve ilia. Na namachivaya ve namashivaya varika nadan tal varika om namashivaya varika you should have been uh, has it should have been started only like that isn't it om namashivaya if at all om should be added to namashivaya means if it is compulsory then how nam manivasaka peruman can start shiva puranam just like that namashivaya varika he says that Lamachivaya, we can say without Om. Katunai puti or kadalil pachi dum natunai yavadi Namachivaya ve Namachivaya ve natunai yavadi Namachivaya ve yana munkalvigum. Okay. So, uh, what we uh, derive to stay here, what we derive to state here is this piloted mantra possessing the power within themselves and it has the power of connecting the soul to the Lord. We will be connected to the Lord. We should be connected to the Lord. Images do the same thing, but it is less powerful. But whereas the mantras have more power, are more powerful mantras. If you utter the mantra, then the connectivity is established immediately. Once you say Namash Shivaya, wherever you say, If you have an image, then you should be present before the image. But whereas mantra, wherever you are, the mantra is along with you. 
is within you is with you you can utter the mantra and get the thought and get the connectivity see of course you will get connectivity through images also that way we cannot deny but it is like a landline but whereas uttering mantra and getting connected is cell phone you understand these are the two i am just telling you the examples to make you understand not to point to point or word to word you, you should uh, uh, should not think that they should be equal i am just giving you an example means to make you understand the basic concept in that okay now what we say is these mantras will make you connected to the almighty through sound of course let it be an image let it be a mantra we have studied a lot of sessions over the images the various statues huh? the various idols about lord shiva lord muruga all those things we studied of course we have some uh, methods to perform our puja before a statue or before an idol or even before a picture doesn't matter in our puja room most of the people will have only pictures paintings nothing wrong you can always have the only thing is you cannot do uh, abhishekam and alankar only just you can put some flower on it that's all you can apply some sandal and kumkum over the photo that's all nothing else but if there is a statue means you must perform abhishekam is it not okay now the two methods of uh, uh, performing puja for a in image for i am just putting a general term image including or encompassing statues idols paintings everything included if you do if you do perform if you do perform a puja for this idol or images what you are supposed to achieve you are supposed to achieve you must get the connectivity with the lord because of that prayer you must get connected how will you get connected or where is the god to get connected where is he actually and where is the soul you understand that they are not ex- available externally they are within yourself it is the body so one and the uh, they are in atvida state inseparable state they are two things but they are inseparable that is how it is called atvida atvida means there are two things two different things but they are inseparable that's how we say okay now let us come to the our point you are doing the uh, puja you are performing the puja for the image you get the feel you get the feel and you get it connected internally not externally no external connection you cannot connect it god externally you get connected internally by feel the feel cannot be explained in explicable feel suppose if you chant mantra if you chant mantra will uh, will there be a, a statue 
will there be an image that uh, will there be an image there may be an image there may not be an image if there is an image nothing wrong before image if you start chanting the mantra mantra means no, I, I don't mean the songs the mantra the mantra means you must utter it without any other thought only the mantra if you see an image you will not have any other vision just the image your concentration will be on the image likewise if you chant mantra your concentration will be on the sound on the mantra on the sound so if you concentrate and chant this mantra then again you are getting connected to the lordship within yourself so either you chant mantra either you perform puja for an image both of them have the same purpose both of them have the same yield both of them have the same result should have the same result that you get connected to the lordship you should feel the lord is it not that is the main purpose what is, otherwise what is the fun of doing a uh, puja for such a long time huh? the puja only uh, hope or only result that is desired is to get connected to the lordship through feel by feel you will you will get connected to the lordship who is within yourself so this is the achievement so the month the, these are the two things by looking at the image by doing performing the pujas you are getting connected by uttering mantras you are getting connected which of them is most powerful by uttering mantra getting connected will be more powerful not only that long lasting not only that getting registered if uh, if you perform puja for an image and uh, suppose if you are uh, uttering so many things it's well and good it's very nice it is a starting thing you should do it of course it will make you feel the lord it will make you connected to the lord but if you utter mantra and if you concentrate within yourself on the mantra on chanting the mantra if you concentrate and if you chant the mantra within yourself the power will make you get connected to the lord shiv now this time more powerful connection and not only that you get the feel for a long time lasting time and not only that whenever you think about this happening in future this will get you the uh, pleasure the pleasure will be sustaining see you are getting some experience somewhere at the time of experience you will get the pleasure but after that whenever you think of that uh, experience you will get the pleasure is it not it is the repercussion of that pleasure it is the reflection of the pleasure likewise if you chant shiva mantras are very powerful because they are inherently possessing the power that we have discussed earlier so shiva mantras make the soul get connected to the lord shiva and that is why the shiva mantra namashivayam is claimed to be to be the name of lord shiva all our tirumurais all our songs they have vouched it. they have strongly recommended they have strongly said that this is the only original name of lord shiva and lord shiva has given this 
has gifted this mantra to his disciples. Namachivaya is the mantra, that is his name, he offered for his devotees, for, it, for his ideas. for his disciples. So, this Namashivaya, Nandi Namam Namashivaya Ve, Nadan Namam Namashivaya Ve. So, this mantra has a special effect. Whenever you chant this mantra, you are calling him is it not? You are calling him. You are inviting him. Namashivaya. Suppose if he will definitely turn to your side. Because if you call some person with his name, then definitely he will turn and see you, isn't it? What does it mean? It belongs to him. The name belongs to him. That is why when you utter this name, he will turn back and see you. Likewise, if you utter Namah Shivaya, then definitely he will turn, back, turn his face to your side. Other, otherwise, it means that you would get the feel of his sight. So, people claim that Namah Shivaya Mantira is very powerful. And it is the name of Lord Shiva, and it is the, the very, very basic and very, very powerful mantra to start with. Tirumula says it is Adi mantra. Tirumula says all other mantras are emanated only from this. All other mantras are emanated only from this. This is the star, others are satellites to make you understand better. So, our Namashivaya mantra is the basic mantra that should be uttered, that should be, uh, that should be chanted by all cybots. Of course, there are other mantras, Sivaya, Nama, Sivaya, Sivaya. But you are not supposed to switch over. You are not supposed to utter those mantras unless otherwise you are permitted to. You are, so, Nama Sivaya mantra does not require any permission. But whereas Sivaya, Nama, Sivaya, Sivaya, they require permissions license. Definitely, it has been stipulated in Saiva. So, the most powerful mantra Namachivayam has been gifted and it has been made easy to utter that mantra by one and all. You need not expect, you get the mantra Namachivaya from anybody you, you want. Suppose, if you want it, if you want to get it, get it from your mother. Get it from your father. If at all they are chanting that those mantras, of course. If they do not know about those mantras, how they will be able to gift you those mantras. Any educated, any adiyar, they are competent enough to give you Namashivaya. If you want to get it from them, get it from them. It is a very, very, very flexible mantra available in abundant measure. It has been made very, very easily available by Lord Shiva. Through all the Tirumurais, if you go through, you can find it that Namachivaya has been made it easy for you to access. To access, to get it, to contemplate it, to chant it. All these things are made easy 
for you to access the mantra. Don't believe somebody says that mantra should be uh, uh, obtained only from particular persons, only from particular gurus. No, Namachivaya is not like that. That is why it has been named for persons. Suppose a person is named Namashivaya. How do you call him? You have to call him only by Namashivaya, isn't it? Will you go to a guru? Sir, I have to call him Namashivaya. Will you please give that mantra by the so Then only I can call him Namashivaya. Can you say like that? No, not at all. It is not expected. So, Namashivaya mantram is easily available. Namashivaya mantra is made because all people or should be attracted towards Lord Shiva. It should be made easy. Whether it is a, he is a partner, whether he is a launderer, whether he is a king, whether he is a, a tramp, yeah, let him be anybody. Let him be anybody. Anybody can get that mantra and attack. So, such uh, flexibility has been given as far as Namachivaya Mantra is concerned. Shivaya Nama Mantra cannot be given to you if you are not already well versed with the Namashivaya. I have uh, chanted Namachivaya for one week. Now, I am qualified to get a Shivaya Nama means uh, you are cheating yourself and cheating others. No, not like that. You cannot, uh, because if you just go through the Tirumurais and tell me in how many places Shivaya Nama has been mentioned. Very few places. Only in a very few places it has been mentioned. Tiruvai Poliya Shivaya Nama Vendri Niran Indin. Of course, in one or two places only, it has been mentioned. But in in all places, in abundant ways, everywhere through full padigam has been given for Namashivai. Whereas Shivai Nama has been uh, has been mentioned here, here and there, that's all. Why? You must understand. People should be attracted towards a Saivam. People should make themselves qualified to utter mantra Shivaya Nama. Unless otherwise you make yourself very, very accustomed and content. And unless otherwise you make yourself very conversant with Nama Shivaya. You, if, you, uh, if you feel happy, if you feel joyful, if you feel get connected to the Lord by uttering Nama Shivaya, then you are getting qualified to get Shivaya Nama. Without understanding Namah Shivaya, see, without understanding and mastering with the basic ragas, how can you sing a song? Huh? And how can you get the, uh, the applause of the audience? You have to master the ragas. You have to master the ragas once you must know the uh, basic notes. You must be well conversant with the basic notes. What are the notes concerned with each raga? You understand? Likewise, if you are well conversant, conversant if you are well versed with five letter mantra of Namashivaya, to start with Namashivaya, start with Namashivaya, chant with Namashivaya, dedicate yourself to Namashivaya, utter Namashivaya, chant Namashivaya, feel Namashivaya, get connected by Namashivaya, feel through Namashivaya. Such an important thing, Adi Mandiram, Anjadithu Oduvar Nokum, Madhirathinum Matre Mandira Vidhi Varume. Kindly understand, if you say Anjadithu, it means only Namashvaya. Just plainly if they say Anjadithi, then it, 
it is relevant to understand that it means it reveals the pilot and mantra namashivaya if it is shivaya it has to be specifically specifically mentioned it has to be mentioned if it is shivaya it has to be specifically mentioned of course they are again called pilot and mantra but if you say just a coil it relates to sidambaram if you just say it's coil sidambaram if you just say pilot and mantra it is ramashivaya that is why it is ramashivaya is called adi mandiram Adi Mandiram, the very very basic Mandiram, from which all mandra, Mandras have come out. This is the main Mantra which is which forms the basic for all Mantras. Anjadithu means namashivaya so kindly understand that namashivaya mantra is the most powerful mantra people used to say namashivaya mantra it, uh, it it should be chanted only for those people who are loving this world only who uh, acquire only uh, sorry only those who require so many things in this world to acquire all those things, they have to chant Namashivaya. They are, eh? they are towards the worldly things. They are attached to the worldly things. They are attached to the worldly bondages. Only those people should attend Namashivaya. All other people who don't have any uh, bondages with this world or with any other relations, they can attend Shivaya Namah. I am just plainly asking, don't, please for, forgive me. Who will be qualified to give Sivaya Nama if you specify this uh, qualification? Will there be four or five persons? Everybody is attached to this world. Everybody is having bondages. Everybody is having bindings. Everybody is having limitations. If you want to leave all these things, come on, chant in the Shivaya Nama. No, no, no. Nama Shivaya means the Nagaram comes first. What does it indicate? It indicates the Nagaram should make, should make this Magaram, the Nagaram that is the leading Shakti for me in this world. Nagaram is leading me in this world. It shows the world, it shows the worldly things, it shows the bondages. So that will get slowly weakened. That will weaken the malam and it will improve the soul so that it will understand Shiva. It will understand its grace, Vaharam. So Naharam, if you start Namashivayam, with the Nagaram, it means that you are weakening the worldly things. You are going towards the Shivayam, Shivam. That is the main thing. That is why we, Na means Thirodana Shakti. It is nothing but God's own Shakti in another form. Because she makes you to love this world because if you love this world, you will perform, you will get experiences. Out of those experiences, you will get your wisdom sharpened and you will uh, be uh, keen towards getting liberated from these miseries and you will look for uh, the reliefs and you will just look for gurus. All these things will happen only if you get the experiences in this world. If you don't have any experience in this world, how can you... Be expected to look for a remedy or relief. So, 
Namashivaya Mandiram means it helps you to improve your uh, view about this world. Naharam will become Baharam in due course. To weaken Naharam, we are starting with Namashivaya. Namashivaya. You understand Namashivaya. Now you please understand Namashivaya. If you utter with Na, the you are you are requesting the Tirodhana Sakti. With the Tirodhana Sakti, we have to look at this world. We have to look at this world because the worldly things are giving uh, the images and the sounds. The worldly things are offering these two things. Only clutching these two things, you have to swim. How can they be operated? The sound and image, just by seeing image, just by seeing the statues, you are getting the feel. Just by hearing the sounds, by uttering the mantras, by hearing the sound, you are getting the feel. How these are established? Only through Naharam. Anything you are getting experience out of this world means it is only because of Naharam. If you get any experience out of Sivam, it is due to Baharam. You understand? If you want to eat anything, it is only from this world. If you want to inhale the air, it is available only in this world. You understand? Who is giving you this power? Naharam only gives you. So, you are putting Naharam because you are depending on the world and you are trying to get out of this world this feel of God. So, you are going to use this world to get the feel of Lord. For that you need light and sound. Those two are operated only by Naharam, Thirobhava Sakti. Of course, that is the functional power of this world, Adi Shakti. So, that Sakti, now you are using it to weaken the Maharam, to get the feel. Now, you are Shikaram and Vakaram. Ultimately, you are going to achieve. So, you weaken the worldly things getting connected and you are improving your probability of getting connected to Lord Shiva by looking through the images and uttering the mantras. Uttering the mantras made possible only by Naharam. If she stops driving you, you cannot get in any experience in this world. What experience you can expect out of this world if you are not driven by Adi Sakti? That is why Namachivayam is called Adi Mandira. It is completely driven by Adi Sakti. Adi Sakti, that is why, that is what a Nahar. So, unless otherwise she helps you, you cannot get out of this world images or sound. So, the sound is more powerful. The mantras are so powerful only because of the Robava Sakti. She is not shielding the Lord. He is offering, make you, making you interested in this world. That's all. Nagaram does what? She is making you interested in this world. She is making you to use this world. She is making you to get attracted towards this world. So that you will perform, you will execute, you will get experiences. So that is the main mood. See, our, our, uh, sign, our science of Saivam, our science of Saivam uh, is logical, is quite understandable. So, what I am trying to say is Namashivaya Mantram, Namashivaya Mantram, you should not, people start thinking Namashivaya is inferior to Shivaya Namaya. Even some learned people, no, oh, Namashivaya, we should not say, we should say only Shivaya Nama. People used to say, even to me. Then I will ask them, who authorized you to 
से शिवाय नम सो गट दीक्षा ओके नाइस बट आर यू हैव यू ऑलरेडी मास्टर्ड नम शिवाय हैव यू ऑलरेडी मास्टर्ड नम शिवाय डिड यू गेट द फील आउट ऑफ नम शिवाय इफ यू फेल्ड टू गेट द फील आउट ऑफ नम शिवाय then you are going to definitely fail to get the feel out of shivaya nam you cannot get yes it is adi mantra i have not told i am these things are not narrated by me these are all things narrated by our superiors our masters our mentors our gurus they have only guided us why all the tirumurais utter only nam shivaya they give importance only to nam shivaya even tirumula thula banjacharam he is uh, uh, giving 10 songs 10 mantrams for that but shivaya nama is the feel of nam shivaya so uh, i have made you to understand the power of nam shivaya unless otherwise you get master you are mastering yourself with nam shivaya mantra नम शिवाय नम शिवाय वे ज्ञान कल नम शिवाय वे नान अच्छे अपर सी सेंग कैन यू से दट नम शिवाय इज इंफीरियर टू शिवाय नम अंड दी टू मंदिर सार इंफीरियर टू शिव शिव वेर कम दिस इंफीरियरिटी नो नाट अट आल द इंफीरियरिटी लाइज वित् यू नाट वित् मंत्र so shivaya nam nam shivaya we must be able to understand why these two mantras are these two mantras you must be able to understand shiva nam shivaya nam shivaya mantram first you get the feel of lord shiva through nam shivaya how to say that mantram kadalahi kasind कन्नी कन्नी You will not look at any other thing. <laughs> If you have kadal, then you will not look at any other thing. You will look only this thing. Kadal means uh, attracted love, concentrated love, pointed love. Kadal, kadal ahi, kasind. So you must uh, get started melting. You must feel that you are melting. कसिंद कादला ही कसिंद कन्नीर मल ही यूअर आईज शुड बी सोक्ड इन वाटर द टीयर्स शुड बी रनिंग आउट विदाउट कंट्रोल इट शुड रन थ्रू द चीक्स ट्रिपिंग डाउन मनमेंट Not only that, it's a young creature. They are put together. Kadalaki, kasind, kanir, malgi. Malgi means abundant. It should come without control. 
காதலாகி கசிந்து கண்ணீர் மல்கி ஓதுவார் தமை ஓதுவார் தமை those who chant like this oduvar tamai nannerikku uippadu nanneri towards lord shiva towards lord shiva towards lord shiva it will guide you to the lord shiva it will it will definitely take you to the lord shiva it will definitely take nannerikku uippadu you understand you need not take any effort it will take you uippadu it will not show it will take you you understand the words and meaning like namashivayam every word in this sonnet in this song is powerful and meaningful nannerikku uippadu why he says uippadu you need not take any effort to go over that you please be there itself it will take you to the feet the feet of lord shiva kadalaagi kasindu kanneer malgi odu vaarthame நன்னெறிக்கு உய்ப்பது உய்ப்பது ஓதுவார் தம்மை தம்மை ஓதுவார் தன்னைன்னு சொல்லிருக்கணும் தம்மைனர் ஏன்னு கேட்டா ஓதுகிறவர்கள் அருகிலே இருந்து ஓதுவதை கெட்டு உருகி நிற்கிறவர்களுக்கும் உண்டு தம்மைங்கிறது பன்மை புளூரல் காதலாகி கௌசிகம் பண்ணு காதலாகி கசிந்து கண்ணீர்மல்கி ஓதுவார் தமை நன்னெறிக்கு உய்ப்பது வேதம் நான்கினுமை பொருளாவது நாதன் நாமம் நமச்சிவாயவே நமச்சிவாயத்தை காதலாகி கசிந்து கண்ணீர் மல்க ஓதுவார் தமை நமச்சிவாய நன்னெறிக்கு உய்க்கும் அதான் மீனிங்க அதை ஓதுனா அதுவே கூட்டிட்டு போட ஆனால் எப்படி ஓதணும் எப்படி சொல்லணும் ஓதணும் எப்படி சொல்லணும் காதலாகி கசிந்து கண்ணீர் மல்கி ஓதுவார் தமை நன்னெறிக்கு உய்ப்பது வேதம் நான்கினும் மறை வேதம் வேதிக் புக் வடி வரி அபவுட் ஆல் தி திங்ஸ் let them be there don't worry about not knowing all those things don't get worried that you are not taught all those things don't get worried that you are not exposed to all those things never get worried you are the namashivaya then you are the master of all four uh, vedams because if you go through vedams if you just take the gist out of the vedam if you just take the gist of all four vedams then the gist will be namashivaya pilot and mantra then directly go to namashivaya you have to go to garden you have to get to the trees pluck the pluck the fruits you must see whether they are ripe or not then take them to home and uh, crush it get the juice remove all the unwanted things take the juice and drink it of course you have to take so many efforts now come here juice is readily available namashivaya 
காதலாகி கசிந்து கண்ணீர் மல்கி ஒது வார்த்தமை நன்னெறிக்கு உய்ப்பது வேதம் நான்கினும் இப்பொருளாபது நாதன் நாமும் நமச்சி வாயவே கேட்கும்போது அப்படியே உருக்க மாதிரி இல்லையா ஈவன் இஃப் யூ லிசன் டு திஸ் சாங் தான் ஓதுவார் தமை ஓதுவார் ஓத கேட்பார் ஓதுவார் உடன் இருப்பார் ஓதுவார்க்கு தண்ணீர் கொடுப்பார் ஓதுவார்க்கு காஃபி கொடுப்பார் ஆல் தீஸ் பீப்புள் சச்ச பவர்ஃபுல் மந்திரா ஓதுவார் தமை நன்னறிக்கு உய்ப்பது வேதம் நான் இன்னும் மெய்ப்பொருளாவது நாதன் நாமம் நம சிவாயவே வித் இஸ் லெட் பி கன்க்ளூட் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் கண்டினியூ அவர் நெக்ஸ்ட் செஷன் வித் சிவா மந்திராஸ் தட் இஸ் ஆன் டுவெல்த் ஐ எம் சாரி தட் இஸ் ஆன் நைன்டீன்த் வில் அகைன் கண்டினியூ அவர் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் சிவா மந்திராஸ் with this i am just concluding i must be failing in my duty if i don't mention the kind patronage and the sponsorship of our qatar couple mrs and mr saravanan they are the people behind this show they have only uh, prompted they have only proposed this uh, serial and uh, they are good, kind heart their good thoughts uh, are gifted by lord shiva and they will be blessed and they will be bestowed upon by the grace of lord shiva uh, for the time to come forever with this i am just going to conclude this session with the five letter mantra being uttered five times i request you to kindly follow me om namah shivaya om namah shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Trichitrambalam I'm going to uh, give you a glad news that is I'm going to announce that Jnana uh, Thiral is going to release English version of Jnana Kodandai uh, we are making arrangements we are making all we are taking all steps to release that book also so that in a, in a short while that book also will be released i request all the people to get these books for their children they will be getting a disciplined uh, way of life definitely if they worship jnana sambandha they will be blessed by his grace with this i am just concluding this tenaduday sivane putri ennattavarkum griva putri வெற்றிவேல் முருகனுக்கு அரோஹரா திருச்சிற்றம்பலம்